Hi everyone. In the previous video, you have studied about the 1D array and the 2D array. This video is about the strings. First, you need to understand that what is a string. So, anything written in these double quotes is a string. Even if it is numbers written in double quotes 1 to 3, will be considered as a string in C. There are different data types for to declare different types of elements in C. Integer, for character and for decimal points number also but there is no data type separate data type to declare strings in C so we'll declare the strings in C with the help of care data type and the array so strings is basically a character array before uh, getting to the code you need to understand few things you need to remember few things understand this that uh, string is a character array string is a character array and uh, and if you remember the 1d array video we have told you that uh, there is a size like if we declare the character array care this is the array name we'll declare it array name and here is the size size is the number of elements you want to store in the character in the array but in the case of strings in case of character arrays you need to store plus one byte for the null character null character is automatically added by the compiler null character means that the string is ended here null character specify that the string is ended here null character is specified by this backslash zero is a null character it automatically adds at the end of string whether you write it or not suppose i am declaring a string hello so this the this site should be six because one byte is for the null character it automatically added by the compiler so no need to write it here so i'll just copy this and uh, paste it into the code blocks this is our character array and this is our string this is how we declare a string the five bytes are for h e l l l o and uh, the one byte is for the null character so i'll tell you that how we retrieve it we'll write printf now we need to write a format specifier by which we can retrieve the this the character array value the string value so that to retrieve the character array there is a format specifier named percentages we'll write this error name over here and like this we'll compile it and run it see you can see that hello is printed here the hello is character array value and percentage s is the format specifier used for it so whenever we want to print the string like this we'll use the percentage s format specifier so strings are also stored like 1d array like like for the indexes as we had explained you in 1d array and 2d array so h is stored on the this h is stored on the zeroth element this e is stored on the first element this L is stored on the second element, this L third and this L fourth. Suppose I'll, I'll just copy this and tell you that how the string is stored. I'll just delete this and this is percentage C to display a character. Now I will display you the character by character that how the string is stored. Just copy this, this and this. We'll just here write that the zeroth index. What is on the zeroth index? What is on the first index? Uh, second, the third, and the fourth. So we'll write here and fourth. We'll just compile it and run it. So this hello is printed again. Even if we have printed zero, one, two, three, four. Let me just put a backslash in over here so you'll get a good perspective of it. see for 0 it is h for 1 is it is e for 2 it is l for 3 it is l for 4 is it o so if you want to print the whole string we'll just copy it put a s over here and just the array name for it so it's like this hello so this is how we store the string and uh, retrieve the string this is a 1d character array in the next video we'll explain you about the 2d character array that if you want to multiple strings in a single array thank you